Will you make any changes between now and yeah, camp? Yeah, so trying. right now, it's usually you, get, you have to train two sets of routines. You gotta train the routine that you're gonna compete for the team because that's the most important one. You know, you don't want to put out your highest routine out there, but you don't want to go too low. So it's more in the middle of, of hitting and being clean and consistent. And then if you make an event finals, then you add in your harder skills. You know, if you look at Jonathan Horn, he had different routines in Beijing and London, and then when he went to finals, he added in like more Kovacs at the casino, you know, harder passes on course. So it's it's a strategy now. How many of your routines were different today than three months? Um, I would say three, because I, I went to just the usual routines I've competed last year at NCAAs, and it just helped me know that I could hit them clean and consistent. And then on Thursday, I had three upgrade routines, but hopefully I can upgrade my people routine routine too. So you didn't do the upgrades on floor, P-bars, or high bar today? <laughs> or horse. Or horse, okay. Yeah. But on Thursday, I, I did the upgrades on floor, high bar, and pop. Where do you think that Team USA stacks up against the rest of the world right now? I think, you know, we're we're not in first, obviously, but I think we can be on the podium. And I think if we can get our strategy right, if we can get our routine suite as clean as possible, then we can be up there. Because if you think about it, every team outside of the U.S. doesn't just push us away. Push us away. They're thinking about what is the U.S. doing, you know, what is... What is China doing? What is Japan doing? So we're definitely up there with all the other teams, and you know you don't want to you don't want to count us out. I kind of think Sam and knowing that you guys are going to keep going head to head over the next couple of years. Yeah. Is that your fire even more? Yeah, it's 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 exciting. I mean, that's what excites sports. You know, you don't want to have you know the top dog always winning, but you always want to have someone pushing him. So it, I think it's. It's, it's going to be a fun quad, and hopefully if you keep staying for the next quad, it'll be even more fun. So I think it's good for both of us, and I think it's good for the U.S., and I think it's good for all the national team members. Thank you. Thanks. How your uh, back feeling? Uh, it, right now it hurts. Like, it's starting. I'm going to go get some ice on it, but, you know, I'm glad that the competition is over. So now I get to focus on some rehab, and I get to rest it a little bit, but then i got to be ready. What, what did the first day do for your motivation coming into the day? Were you in a different frame of mind today than you were Thursday? Oh, it definitely fueled me, but I also knew that it couldn't take over my emotions. I couldn't let it, you know, put extra pressure on me saying, oh, you had a bad first day, so now you have to have an amazing second day. I just had to accept it and then reset and then come in here like I didn't compete Thursday. It looked like you were pretty emotional after that first hit on, on P-bars. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely, because I knew I had to start off good. And I knew if I started off well, I could carry that energy throughout the whole week. Did you feel like today was six for six for you, or full exercise maybe? Yeah, I, that was a goof. But, you know, I, I came and did what I wanted to do, and I feel like I didn't have any major mistakes. So I think I did what I wanted to do, and I'm excited to be getting ready for the World Team Camp and getting prepared for all that.